in the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Oh, we're full though. Who, who's here? Another wheeled witch. I don't think we have a prodigy either. I'm pretty sure last time we had one, we got rid of him. 61. Yeah, sure. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Dude, I'm, I've said it a million times, and I'm going to say it a million more. His voice is so good. Like, I don't even want to try to replicate it because my voice is so mediocre compared to his, it'll, like, deface how good his voice is. Experimental techniques and tonics can overcome things a sharpened sword cannot. Oof. A cold chill, a cold chill right there. And equip, sorry, by rarity. Um, wait, wait, wait. Before we do this, up, 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 up. I want to get rid of the worries. It's not like the worst thing in the universe, but it is pretty damn annoying, actually. I represent stress is quite a bit, and it adds up pretty, pretty fast. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Thank you guys for watching, by the way. You guys are awesome. Yeah, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oof, all the coffee getting to me. Speaking of coffee, I need to pour another cup. What the wife say? Hold on. <sighs> Life food. We should get home late today. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me pour some more coffee. I don't know if I showed you guys my cup yet, actually. This cup is really nice. So, it's a Diablo 3 cup. It has, I mean, obviously, I don't know how well you guys can see this. It's Diablo 3 on it. And then on the back, it actually has Diablo's face. It's pretty dope. You guys can kind of see it. It's not super visible because the lighting is super weird but it's good enough all right let's see where we where we wish to go werewolf and dodge three crit one speed doesn't seem super duper dead or anything we still haven't seen this omen seeker that we have apparently we don't have an acolyte of the sun either that's odd Diablo Hmm. Interesting. I'd be really dope to get some Diablo skins in Darkest Dungeon if they had any. Hmm. None of this stuff is super interesting. But there is the um
Do we not have Crusader stuff? Or am I just really that blind? It's not alphabetical, is it? No, it's definitely not. I use Crusader. Oh, we have the, the Helix Crusader stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, dude, modding's hard, to be honest. Like, you gotta think about it. Like, in a mod community, you're probably inspecting, like, like, legitimately five modders total for an entire mod community to be, like, producing brand new original stuff. And then the rest are gonna be, like, heavy modifications on existing things, right? Which, I mean, I, I appreciate both greatly. And anytime there's new content, I'm happy. It was definitely more difficult to get the new, to get 100% new stuff than it would be anything else. Mm -hmm. Bleeds more, does more damage, has lower accuracy. I think we're gonna do a number five here. <laughs> number five, a level five dungeon. So we can't stun, we have no damage, but we can heal our brains out, which I'm fine with. So heal, heal. This if we get out of position, and we know that we can't stun, so we may as well do this. Um, this is only useful if you have a fully movable party. I don't really like my party for fu a full move kind of thing. I'm in the wield, so things bleed but don't blight. trying to think like what who do I want to bring I'm not super excited about like anything he can be within the front too to do all of his stuff but he needs he only gets a crit if he's in position one but that's not really what we're there for so we can move you one and bring you which means we can bring two damage dealing backliners as long as they never move him that's like the one thing that they can't do Interesting. I don't want anything that moves forward. So if we did this, we'd be doing something like this, and we can only use this ability on the very back. We could have one move forward ability, which would be this, but we couldn't use it on the first turn ever. Hmm. I'm not super excited about that idea. And you can use stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. This is kind of weird. So you gotta kind of think, like, what do you want here? What kind of build for your people do you want to go because we have our healer guaranteed the Helene is kind of interchangeable we could pretty much do anybody there but I'm okay with the Helene as well like I do think the Helene's really good and plus she has precise striker and damage and runes but that's not going to be useful damage and warns it's also not useful so do, who has negative accuracy you don't care because you're just healing and he's stressing So I think we stack crit on her, and we give her a buttload of damage. Pretty sure that's how we want to do this. So stacking crit. Crit. Mm, crit. But is there more crit we can find? That's only for melee. Range, ranged. Melee. It's only one melee to range.
We'll just stack pure damage on you. This gets minus three speed, which is a little worrisome. How much is 10%? It's three life. Protection, 35% move resist, increased stress. That's pretty good. But we kind of want damage and crit. Oh my god, Calm is so bad. Calm is horrible. And this is just good. In pretty much all situations. Lower his speed for a giant defensive buff. Wouldn't hurt my feelings, to be honest. I also wouldn't mind surprising monsters. I think we're actually going to lose one crit and nine damage for just the big surprise. I really like the idea behind that. So, you can keep this. That's fine. So, with this you can hit every single target, which is good. This doesn't really matter. As long as you can move yourself back up if you get pushed back or something. We do need you to heal. Mm. You have a very specific way you use your skills, but that's okay. Slower his accuracy. I've always been fond of this ability, but only if you're gonna do like a full lower accuracy party. Like I feel like it by itself isn't really that good. It's good for bypassing stealth and the de stealth, so. Alright. Let's check it out. I think. Oh my god, that sucks. French or verm, my god. Oh, that's okay. This needs to be done eventually anyway. So doing it now rather than later is unfortunately probably the best decision. We're gonna be using Iron Swan. Um. I mean, the accuracy is probably really good for this. We are going to be using this, not this. Mm. What are we using on you? We're using one, three, and then these two. One, three, these two. Wait, are we really using that? There's stun. Mm. I don't know, man. Clear stun is good. It lowers stress. We don't need low stress, though, is the only thing I'm kind of thinking there. Because we already have our our uh, Crusader on that. Wait, what was that? Oh, I, at first I thought it said rabies. Okay. I think I'm gonna get full food because we have the uh, trinket that makes her eat more. Ah, uh, four shovels because it's just safe. Mostly blight here, but we don't have a cure, so I'll bring both. We can find more food this way. Okay, so there's secret rooms. Um, we'll do eight and a half. Increase protection on someone. Probably you. Who has lower speed? You have really bad speed. We'll increase your speed. I think we'll keep one of these just for safety. I believe it's one HP for 35 turns or something crazy. It's not like incredible, but you don't mess around with level six dungeons. That's why we're we're making sure everything's fine. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Okay, I mean, this is a pretty obvious way to explore this one. Okay. That 30% surprise shrink is not looking so bad now, huh? This is forward, so we never want to move forward. 
We want to move back. They both feel better damage than mark targets. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this guy first. Yeah, let's just go ahead and kill him. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Marks and lowers accuracy. And who is this the debuff, unfortunately? The light, the promise of safety. May as well, right? I mean, that's that's like the best thing we could have hoped for. Dude, that noise from the bow is just so clean. The ground quakes. Yeah. We knew it happened. He always does. Festering fear consumes the mind. Hmm. Dude, those heals are so good from this combo. I really, really like it. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Nice. That was a pretty good first fight, actually. Let's just hope every fight goes that way. Man, you can find some really, really bad stuff in this place, though. Let's go ahead and buff people. Um, so, who had the speed? It was the Crusader who wanted the speed. Dodge, we're gonna give to you. Just so you're less likely to get hit. Hmm, but you have minus 15, so you're gonna go up to 31, so you technically need it more. And this is just as we need it. Oh my god. That was very surprising. I could not tell why. Do we have back? We do not. So, let's just reset. I can't remember. I think this guy is really, really bad to keep alive. Obliterated. I mean, killing these guys first makes sense because normally they spread, or they split rather. Hey, he didn't use the split though, he just did the damage, which is fine. And they're attacking the person who ultimately wants to be attacked the most. Alright, he's dead. Which is nice. It's kind of fine. To oh. He revives. Of course he does. I don't know what these do. They stop heal skills. I remember you. You're bad. Die. <laughs> Die, you disgusting bastard. This sucks because there's so many things that want to die here. Like, everything is bad. But not being able to heal might actually be the worst. He doesn't do much other than that, though. I think he marks, maybe? This guy can't do shit now, unfortunately. Slowly, gently. This I think is he can only spawn stuff out of corpses, though, if I'm not mistaken. Brush this advantage. Give them Beautiful. no quarter. So until this thing dies, I'm pretty sure we still get... Yeah, we still can't use any healing. God, they have so much dodge. Which is fine though, this guy doesn't deal very much damage. Healing isn't really a problem. We do gotta do this though, unfortunately, just because we don't want him to take extra stress. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. We just wanna like, go away, please. Actually, wasn't that bad. It Ghoulish looked really bad though, at like halfway through. Low and driven into the mud. Dude, the level six enemies are so evil. <laughs> like, if you compare them, like just like the level three enemies, 
Level 3 feels like such a joke compared to the 6 ones. They're good at everything. They're weak to nothing. A victim to the spreading they have corruption. so many nasty little things to do. With misintent. Is that the wife? Who was the wife? She's saying congratulations and hitting 10k views. Thank you everybody for showing up today, by the way. Making Glittering that a reality. Gold, I don't know if we actually hit it yet, but I know it's like it's gonna happen today in way or in blood. So I really do appreciate you guys for being here. Much love to everyone. Mm, I think we actually have to explore everything, don't we? In these tiny ones. Or maybe it's all except one we have to explore. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I'm just trying to think, like, what's the worst thing we could fight here? I mean, we could fight, like, a giant double stressor party, which would be annoying. Because, like, the giant can just one-shot you. The stressors, of course, are going to be pissing you off the entire time Finding as well. the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Oh, we can just get lucky. Just go home unscathed with a free, fresh trinket that we can sell because we don't actually need it. This week was a waste, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish, there's a mod I saw that allows you to skip weeks if nothing's interesting. And I think I should probably download that and just use it. Okay, so there's three weak things that he's gonna turn into unkillable thingies. A decisive pummeling. But since we know that, we can just start selling him first. Yeah, and plus that, man, the mar these guys go really well together. Inspected. Yep. Still looks so sad. Sedated. That's crazy. I believe these guys stun and give you a little bit of a... Uh... They have a chance to stun and give you some... Stress, I want to say. Oh my god, I didn't know you had that big of a damage attack. I rolled the dice there. It was 10% lower chance to hit, but... I don't really feel like we Continue rolled the, the dice onslaught. too hard. Destroy them all. I was say, as long as we hit, he's dead, so... Now, do you de-stress or do you heal? Probably just heal. Because it didn't look like we're missing that much HP, but he has 54 max, so he actually has a whole lot of HP. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind getting around to uh, this guy once again, if possible. Just for the de-stress. Yeah, perfect. It also heals for 5, which isn't bad. Oh, my nose is killing me. It's like so gold. Annihilated. Yeah, that crit that we got on her is super useful. She's at 25% now. As victories mount, um, so too will resistance. We'll go ahead and use this. Oh, we're just done, I guess. Wow. I could have sworn we had to explore more. A handsome Ooh. reward. Wait a second. For a task well performed. Paths and roads bring soldiers and supplies. Let 10K. them arrive on Harried. We spent a whole lot more than 10k to get that done, but I mean, you gotta think. Every upgrade you do is like it's future proofing yourself. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its what noble end affords this? you broad tolerance in your choice of means. I didn't even know I had this installed. 